components to create a custom window surround. Very simple to do, uh, using some PVC glue, some fasteners, and a couple of trim components that you can get from clear. This is a profile of a historic sill. We'll use that for the sill. And this is the profile of the crown that we'll be using at the top. Cut the trim to size and prepare them for assembly. In this assembly, pocket screws are used to connect the vertical sides to the head along with PVC cement. Both the historic sill and the solid crown have been mitered for a classic window detail. Remember when applying glue to PVC, apply glue only to one surface as this will create a stronger bond. Using clear fast setting PVC cement, fitting the pieces together and either pinning or clamping temporarily will provide a much cleaner look without the need to use fasteners. Allow the pieces to dry and then begin to assemble the rest of the frame. PVC along with pocket screws are used to create very strong joinery on our frame. The pre-mitered historical sill is glued and screwed to the vertical legs of the window surround. The pre-mitered solid crown is glued to the face of the window surround and fasteners are installed from the back side of the window frame to eliminate the need for filling any fastener holes. It's important before the glue dries to use some acetone to wipe down the entire frame to remove any excess glue the acetone will also remove any pencil marks and any smudges or dirt that have gotten onto the surface prior to the installation of your surround. One of the easiest ways to install the window surround is using the Cortex screw and plug system. The screws are countersunk with a depth stop driver and then matching plugs are inserted into the holes that are created by the Cortex screws. The plugs are inserted in those holes and tapped into place. This creates a finished appearance to the surround. The surround does not need to be painted to maintain the limited lifetime warranty.